Welcome back to the Last Remnant Video Walkthrough 100% Completion Guide. Um, we've wrapped up the main quest, the side quests. We've uh, done most of the guild tasks except for the nine that require us to create, craft a weapon. And um, the first thing I'm going to do is go to a number of places here and buy store-bought uh, uh, items. Um, distilled water here. Um, I'm overshooting on the number sum. I wouldn't concentrate on the fact that I bought 11 of them. Um, doesn't necessarily that I, I needed I need 11 of them, but uh, uh, so in, in fact, a lot of them I'm, I'm going to grab 100 of them just because I know I'll be using some of them when we upgrade Rush and our eight our, our eight, total 18 guys um, with them. Uh, but for now, we are just creating the weapons for uh, uh, guild tasks. <clears throat> Um, but yeah, with like timber, we'll just grab a hundred of it. Why not? Um, it's not like you'll you lose you'll lose it. And in a new game plus, all this stuff transfers over, so um, we won't need timber in the next game. Just like that, hit the vendor. Uh, that's an acceptable strategy, also, by the way. Uh, um, before you finish the game, is to uh, spend every last coin you have buying stuff from the stores, because the stuff from the stores transfers over, your final gold count is inconsequential. Um, that's all determined by number of quests completed, boss completed, and rank of the conqueror that you kill at the end. Uh, and captured monsters turned in. Um, uh, we're still collecting uh, some items you shouldn't worry about committing them to memory, but I can just tell you uh, the strategy I had for getting the nine weapon master items that we have to get. Um, there was ten actually, but the first one uh, we did in another video because it was needed for to open rank one of the Ring of the Labyrinth Guild. Uh, yeah, get some Vackle Iron here. This will save us from having to mine. Um, I highly suggest, like I did, like I said when we crafted the last weapon, um, that you mine yourself just because it's easy and Mr. Diggs is at uh, max level and you have 21 digs, so there's no reason to spend the money at the store. You can spend it on other things. Uh, anyway, um, uh, the strategy I did these nine items with, and that uh, we'll be following in this video and the next video um, to, tr to get them all done, is I made a list of everything that's needed. Okay, uh, this vendor, there's something of importance. This vendor sells recipes also, um, which aren't here. They're not even showing up here. Usually, when they, she has something that we um, can't buy... Uh, it shows up as out of stock or something like that, but you can see it. Um, we need to unlock enough faction, um, so I'm going to show you instantly here how to uh, open enough faction to uh, open up the recipes that we're going to buy. Um, these are all our rares, and there was a couple normals in there mixed in. I don't know how they got there. Um, but uh, you recognize the names. We hit, did them in all the videos, and... Uh, it's a lot of cash. It's 3,200,000 gold. It's a crazy amount of gold there, and we're going to need it. Um, so we're at 4.5 million gold, and now she sells recipes, which we can buy. Um, we're going to buy them all. Um, buy her out, at least. Um, we've unlocked all the recipes. Um, it wasn't the fact that our creatures were rare that unlocked these. It was the fact that our creatures were a certain race. Uh, some of the races uh, unlocked uh, recipes. And this is a recipe vendor, so that's what was unlocked from them. Uh, it, it will unlock some other stuff in other vendors now when we visit them. We hadn't turned in creatures, not any to speak of, uh, until just then. We saved all our rares. Uh, we're, we're not done with rares, I don't believe. Uh, but... Um, that was a good place as any to drop off all the ones we had just now, just to get the recipes. Uh, we haven't unlocked the Imperator weapons yet, otherwise I would have bought them immediately. Um, but um, <coughs> we, we did have a lot there to drop off. Um, this is a, a rare we fought before. Uh, Jarama, uh, we came in here for Spirit Lords or something, and Jarama was in here, so we killed him and ate him and um, made a sandwich. This guy uh, is going to drop something that we need. Uh, a Kuchulain Kuchul core. And remember I said something about cores. We split. Um, 
uh, rare or two that we had to to get a core off them. A dwarven core and an elven core. Four guild tasks. Uh, guild tasks don't require any other cores out of you. So, uh, And those cores are dropped by different rares. And in this case, this particular rare and about six others drop this Kuchelane core, which we'll need to create uh, a weapon called Ram Skull. Um, but we'll need to split them. So we'll need to capture him, and we did. And then we'll split him for a Kuchelane core. You see it there at the bottom. Nice. And we've got a Kuchelane core. Um, that's the hard item to get for this weapon upgrade. Um, a lot of our store-bought stuff, and we have a lot of stuff actually on our guys, uh, on Rush already, to complete a lot of these um, nine weapons that we have to create from, uh, from scratch. In all these cases, we'll be creating them from scratch. We'll be buying some weapon from a vendor, and then we'll be upgrading it. Um, I don't believe we have any of these. We will be bypassing some upgrades with the use of weapon recipes that we've picked out throughout the game. We're going to use every one we can um, to skip ahead. Uh, and uh, we've seen that before when we created the Mermaid's <coughs> Malice weapon or whatever. We had to... Uh, well, at one point in time, there was two ways to upgrade the weapon to the next one. And one of them was using a weapon recipe, and the other one was using just raw ingredients. And that'll happen a number of times to you. You'll see that when you're upgrading a weapon, you'll have an, uh, a different way to go about it, where you use a weapon recipe in lieu of something that's hard to get. Um, so the weapon recipe will help you out. Uh, okay, um, and we're in Flamello, but we went a different way. I believe what we're looking for here is a weapon recipe. There's a, at a dead end. Um, oh, I want to warn you about uh, this weapon recipe. It says on the wiki that it's in a dead end right when you go in. You keep going straight, keep going straight through the door, go straight some more, and don't do anything but go straight, and you'll hit a dead end, and there should be a weapon, weapon recipe on the ground. I never saw it. And multiple, multiple times coming in here. I never saw it, and I just ran right into that ghost. I, I just okay. I deserve it. I, I deserve that. I'm, I'm gonna take my uh, beaten. <coughs> uh, oh, uh, because we did the um, Arcana in the last video, we should be seeing that uh, come up. Uh, usually in fights where there's more creatures, um, some Arcana require well are better set off by having. Uh, more creatures engage you. Like in battlefield fights, uh, where they seem to come up quite often because there's so many creatures on the field. Uh, let's see. Let's see if we can get past the rest of these ghosts without wasting time here. Anyway, that dead end is wrong. It's not actually at that dead end. It's at the other side of it. Um, we're going to go, but you can't go through the wall. There. There's a wall there at that dead end. So um, we have to approach it from the other side, which requires us to go this different route, and once again, any time dealing with Flamello Tower, I would say don't try and follow from the video because that, that'd be an, um, a pain to have both open at the same time. Um, get that map from uh, Wiki or uh, the Game Guide or whatever you're using um, to uh, get to the other side of that wall. Joink! I like I like it when it teleports you like that. Like it. Um, blam. Okay, so we uh, traveled to another tower. The tier of doubt, and there's the dead end from the other side. Sitting on the ground is the uh, ground spawn. We needed weapon recipe number 43, which we'll need for uh, Champion's Lance. Uh, that's for the Union of Golden Chalice. is one of the weapons that's needed for that. Um, uh, yeah, how that split up. The, the Union of the Golden Chalice has five items we'll need. Uh, and let's see, Sword of the Three Realms just has one weapon that we need to make, and the Ring of the Labyrinth, since we've already done one for the rank one open, just has three left for us to be creating for them.
Alright, now I think I had an opportunity to hit the world map, but for, for whatever reason... I'm coming back this way. Damn! Again! It, maybe I'm uh, maybe I'm missing something here, but I don't have in my notes. Let me look at my notes for my strategy <clears throat> for creating these weapons. I'm trying to find the part where I run into a fucking ghost twice. <clears throat> it's not here. It's not here. It's not written down anyway. Uh, so that was more of the. <laughs> Ground spawn was there, um, which it, it's not always in the same place. The weapon recipes can be in multiple places um, if you're hunting them all down for whatever reason, um, which you don't need to do. Um, you certainly don't need to feel like you need all the weapon recipes to finish the game, or to feel like you have completely finished the game, um, just because um, there's almost no chance. Well, there's no chance that you'll use them all. There's no chance. Uh, it's better to pick them up as you go, and if you find one that you that you can use, but you uh, you need that you you don't have, go hunt it down. Uh, because you don't have to. All you have to do is have access to the zone to get the weapon recipe. If you're playing a new game plus or whatever, you can you can get that weapon recipe um, just laying on the ground. It's not like you have to go somewhere special. Okay, so let's try this again. I may be trying... Um, I tried to stack as many uh, things as possible per zone uh, when doing weapon upgrades. Um, and that includes these that I'm creating from scratch. Um, if I had two things I needed in this zone, then I, you know, after I got the weapon recipe, I would hunt down the other thing, and that might be what I'm doing here. There's a chance that's what I'm doing here. Oh, I might be picking up chests. Uh, yeah, there are some chests that I did not pick up. And I didn't want to leave without getting the chests, because um, I still don't have 150 chests. And I'm nervous, because it doesn't tell me how many I have. I'm nervous I'm nervous at this point in the game, when I'm playing it, uh, that I'm not going to ever get 150 chests. <laughs> So that's a map of Flamello. Okay, that's something we probably should have picked up earlier, but we didn't uh, go go through all the rooms, and we still haven't, and still won't go through all the rooms. Okay. Um, so uh, that wraps up uh, this weapon recipe uh, 43. Um, we're also going to be using weapon recipe 32. Uh, which I already have. I picked up somewhere along the way um, for uh, another uh, weapon upgrade. Uh, well, let me see. Which ones am I using weapon upgrades for specifically? Again, ganked, ganked. Uh, it's al it's almost embarrassing. Um, I don't I don't have any excuse for this behavior. <clears throat> Those guys are hard to dodge, though. The the ghost, that's that was me. Uh, that time, that was me. That was my fault completely for running headfirst into them. Even though they appear in front of you, um, I, uh, it's a rookie rookie move there. But luckily, we are damn near godlike to anything in this zone. We just killed a demigod, so we should be okay uh, killing the trash in here if we accidentally hit it. It looks like I'm walking back out through the entrance. Well, that's fine. Alright, that's a certain symmetry to that, that we came in the front, we're leaving the front. That's fine. That's fine. Uh... Numer mine. Numer. Numer. Uh... Maybe we need to mine something here. I get this feeling we need to mine... Something from Numer. Uh, primordial alloy. Three of them. We need three of them. Um, and so we have to find a node. Uh, 
this will be a common thing uh, we do in the weapon upgrade videos. Um, they'll likely uh, require some kind of uh, metal that we'll need to uh, <coughs> procure from a wall or ground or something like that. Uh, we won't be killing anything in here, though. And uh, luckily, uh, Numer Mine is loaded with uh, gateways out. There we go. There's a digging point. We got 21 digs, and this is a big reason why we did that um, before we did this. Long before we did this. Um, the 21 digs are going to be... Wow. Blam. Right off the bat. Four primordial alloy. Well, forget what I was going to say. Um, but having the 21 digs uh, is very helpful, especially when you need a, a very large number of an item. Nice, a sash recipe okay, while we're at it. Why not? Why not? Okay. What's next? What's next? Ho ho ho! Curveball! You thought I was leaving. Admit it. You thought I was leaving. But well, we're not leaving. We need, uh... We need uh, a couple things from here. Uh, we've already collected the ore to the right there. There's a there was a vein to the right. This one I believe um, is in a wall. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Come on out. Okay. So, um, we, oh, well, we bought Vackle iron, iron and Steel Ore, so, um, uh, Shadow Metal, maybe that's it. Shadow Metal, how many of those do we need? Alpstone? Maybe we need an Alpstone from here. There it is, a rough Alpstone. That's what we need. And, uh, we just needed one of them. Uh, is there anything else... Numer mine. I don't see anything else in Numer mine, so that might be it for us. Um, I might just uh, take the lift up and head out. Yer. But it's nice when you can do uh, a couple things in one zone, especially with the minerals. Uh, zones have a nice variety of minerals in them, um, and the the difficulty of the instance is usually the difficulty. I mean, the uh, level of the uh, mineral that you're farming. Um, and likewise, the deeper you go into the instance, the um, the better the chances for rares and things like that. Uh, the harder they are to farm, the better they are to farm. I guess that's what I meant to say there. Okay, so, um, Fackle's Nest. Uh, let's see. Something tells me here we need Rock Grader Tail. Yes. Let's do this. No, no, no. We need an inverted chimera scale. We need three of those and a rock grader tail. Um, it is a drop, um, I guess. I, I don't think it's a split. I think it's just a drop. Um, wow, we killed. We're killing fast. Uh, joint. Problem solved. Wow, that was a three-second fight. Like Paris! Kratz! He uh, leveled up his wards. Okay, so uh, we got the Rock Grader Tail, which is a rare drop off a of Rock Grader. Um, there's the Alp Core. Nice. And I think there may have been three reasons to come here. Uh, Rock Grader Tail, Alp Core... And a chimer an inverted chimera scale. Yeah. So uh, maybe maybe that's what we'll do here. First blood is yours.
Come on, let's kick the man. <laughs> Joint. Nice. There's still BR-80. Um, Rock Grader Tail. Got two more of them. Nice. Uh, we can split those Rock Graders, I guess. Or, I don't guess we have to. It's just going to be cash. Cash is good. We're not done here yet. Unless we've gotten all the Rock Grader Tails. Let's see, let's see. Oh, nice! Okay, well. That was a nice surprise. Uh, Runes of Rebellion Castle. We've been here many times. This is that boss I was talking about. I didn't think I was going crazy. Yes, Caligula. There's a boss here, just like um, when you enter Flamello Castle, and that boss is just the same race creature. Sometimes these Colossus guys just stand at the entrance, and you can see them when you zone in. So you can keep coming into the Runes of Rebellion Castle till you see them. Um, I don't think this guy respawns, though. Oh, he's not blinking, he's just uh, cursed or something. One of our guys uh, uh, gave him the stink eye. I think Caligula was some 70s porn movie, or near porn movie, or something like that. Um, uh, I think. Um, and so that, when I think that, I think Colossus. Um, Last Remnant Colossus, good name. Um, I, I don't know if I mentioned it, but uh, we are jumping around um, on the items for these nine weapons. Uh, the, uh, um, let's see, when we went into Valak's Nest, um, the Rock Raider Tail that we needed uh, for one weapon um, is different from like the inverted Chimera Scale or whatever we needed from another. So. Um, Uh, we were combining all the ingredients for all nine weapons into a giant stack and then divvying them out um, for, in different zones. Yay, we captured Caligula. I'm guessing we did for a reason. No. Oh. No. Oh. To put him in our rare box, of course. We still have not unlocked the Imperator weapons, but we will be um, soon. Uh, very soon. Uh, sooner than I think I will. Because um, <laughs> uh, right now, I think there's no end in sight. I've collected so many rares from Bize, Bize 20 some times, and, uh, and um, I still didn't unlock the Imperator weapons, and I was like, man, I don't, I don't have any idea how close I am. That's the only problem, is there's no meter. Um, so we're back in here killing landworms. I said when we came in here a couple videos back, uh, as we walked by these guys, we're going to be back here in a couple videos to kill these landworms. And um, we're doing that now. Um, retro landworm husk, or landworm husks. Okay. Uh, relatively... Uh, Easy? Oh, no, no, no. Those weren't uh, in, uh, uh, the ones in the underground passage. Well, whatever. Those are the guys at the beginning. And we're going to have to do that a few times. Um, we're going to have to kill some really easy, easy stuff that we haven't uh, messed with in a long time. Uh, 
just to get uh, some of the uh, rarer items off of them. However, one good thing about <clears throat> this, and the reason why we're doing these weapon uh, upgrades before we do our own guys' weapon upgrades, is because we want to have all the magazines that unlock creature drops and shit like that. Um, there, you don't need a magazine, uh, any type of magazine, in order to do all the guild tasks. None of them require magazine drops. Um, but um, all the weapon upgrades at some point in time will require some kind of magazine drop. Um, they're very, uh, very uh, common ingredients in the weapons. We're still BR-80. That's I'm, that's so cool we're staying at 80. Uh, it, it's weird because when we were in um, the Ancient Runes... Okay. Mystic Fiend Bones. We got a thin manacore name, a treant fragment. Uh, let's see. We need eternal bulbs, hydra bristles. Oh man. Southwest road. We needed Kaz seed. Um, we need three of it, and it's right of the bridge. So we're probably heading there right now. Uh, the landward husks. From Runes of Rebellion, it was needed for uh, that we just killed, and I was bumbling like an idiot, not knowing uh, why we were killing them. Um, those are needed for the combat harpoon. I'm sorry, the combat Francesca. So, um, yeah, uh, these are uh, cast seeds. There we go. We got two of them, um, and I believe we only need three, but I, I may get a, you know, a couple overflow just in case. Just in case we need them for uh, weapon upgrades later. Uh, that ought to be enough. That's plenty. That's plenty. I'm not using anywhere near all of our digs. Um, like uh, like you might if you were um, not recording a video. Um, and uh, Oh, ground spawn? Oh, another uh, platter fragment. Okay. I can always use those. We're nowhere near 100 on any ground spawn, so they're so few and far between, and they're nice to carry over to a new game plus where you have them all uh, going going in. Okay, moving on, moving on. And this video does kind of go with the next video. Um, uh, we'll be uh, wrapping up the last few uh, items for weapon upgrades, and then we'll be combining and creating all the weapon upgrades in the next video. Hey, I got hit by a fucking spider in um, Blackdale. Imagine that. Imagine that. I'm sure you're shocked. Sit down. No, sit down. Uh, you're not going to believe what just happened here. Um, believe it or not, we don't need to kill these spiders um, uh, for any particular drop. Uh, mostly because they run, have run into us pretty steady. Um, thank God for the five second rule, or probably wouldn't have made it by that guy either. Um, I think we need, uh, Skull Scavenger heads, or some, something like that. Let's see. Let me verify that. Skull Scavenger Craniums. It is a rare split. Um, and these guys, um, it's hard to split off them. Um, the only nice thing about this <coughs> is they're right there at the entrance. Um, but still, even though they're right there at the entrance, I would just save right before you engage them. Um, just because they don't often split, but we got a split here, and they got the Skull Scavenger Cranium on them. Um, I had very bad luck with this drop. Um, hopefully you won't. <coughs> I had very bad luck getting a capture, and worse luck getting the rare to show up. So if we can just survive past these guys, and we do... See, you don't you like a happy ending there? You didn't know. You didn't know if a spider was going to come back from the dead and hit us again? 
Um, but we are more than halfway done collecting um, uh, these items for uh, our uh, Weapon Master Guild tasks. And so we will wrap that up in the next video after our guys stop asking for stuff. But a lot of them are asking for new stuff because we went to uh, Ancient Ruins. We'll see you in the next video.